Bright pink nebulae almost completely encircle a spiral galaxy in this NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope image of NGC 922. The ring structure and the galaxy's distorted shape result from a smaller galaxy scoring a cosmic bullseye, hitting the center of NGC 922 some 330 million years ago. Hubble's image of NGC 922 shows that the galaxy is far from being an ordinary spiral. Its arms are disrupted. A stream of stars extends out into space and a bright ring of nebulae encircles the core. Observing NGC 922 with NASA's Chandra satellite reveals more chaos in the form of ultra-luminous X-ray sources dotted around the galaxy. NGC 922's unusual form today has its origins hundreds of millions of years ago. At that time, a smaller galaxy plunged right through the heart of NGC 922. Although it's outside Hubble's field of view now, images from a survey telescope on the ground show the interloper shooting away from the scene of the crash. As the small galaxy passed through the middle of NGC 922, it set up ripples that disrupted the clouds of gas and triggered the formation of new stars. The radiation from these new stars in turn lit up the gas. The bright pink color of the resulting nebulae is a characteristic sign of this process and it is caused by excited hydrogen gas, the dominant element in interstellar gas clouds. It's a similar process to that used in neon signs here on Earth. In theory, if two galaxies are aligned in just the right way, with the small galaxy passing right through the center of the larger one, the ring of nebulae will form a perfect circle. But more often, the two galaxies are slightly offset, forming a circle like this one, which is noticeably brighter on one side than on the other. Although collisions and mergers are quite common, the precise alignment and ratio of sizes necessary to form a ring is not up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best known sites for astronomical observations.